Hi Aquarius, welcome to your August messages from Spirit Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, oop, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Aquarius, so let us see what messages Spirit wants you to know at this time. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading. Only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned, and you definitely can... Um, the, the energy feels like it's someone else's energy around you. You definitely could take it as such. Cross watchers as well could be messages for you. So welcome in Aquarius. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Your playlists are down there. They should be timeless if you'd like to check out other readings. And um, I do eight readings a month to a week. And you can find down below all the content, times, days I publish. And also... Um, if you're interested in Twin Flame readings, I do more collectives. Um, that link is below if you'd like to check out that channel. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know this time. So I'm going to kind of uh, pull these oracles. And what we're going to do here is read each card. And these will be all your messages. And they may be all independent messages. Or they may all coincide with one another. So you'll have to take them how they resonate for you. Then at the end, I'm going to pull a little tarot spread. And see what other messages want to come out or if it's clarification it will tell you what i see and then we have another oracle on the end for uh, extra guidance or messages all right all right these two and that one all right aquarius let's see what we have so far oh my gosh this i cannot get away from this card this card has been coming out for almost every sign so have 17 negativity let's see what else we have we have kindness and we have control so we have 10 10 and 8 so 10s are about you know endings and new beginnings so i'm kind of feeling like i almost want to pull you another card because that negativity has been coming out like for every single sign let's see we have replenish 31.4, which is a stable ground energy here. So I'm feeling like, I feel like you're overexerting yourself, um, overextending yourself, your kindness, your um, giving nature, and maybe you don't let others, other people like control you or control, people may feel like they have, I don't want to say control over you, but it's almost like they can control situations with you or they control conversations or control ways of thinking or I don't want to say like have control over you, but it's almost like, I don't know how to describe it here, but it's people are depending, like over depending on your kindness and generous kind of energy. And I'm feeling like a negative kind of energy and it's time to if you're giving, giving, and giving, it's time to replenish yourself. Don't let this control your life or control energies around you. I just feel like some of you have to take your power back, take control of situations. You know, you don't always have to give to every little situation out of kindness. Yes, you can be kind, loving, and generous, but don't have to overextend your energy either. It's kind of what I feel here. So I feel like it's time to take back control of people places things around you and maybe putting you in a negative mindset or a low vibration that's kind of what i'm feeling here you do have people around you that are kind and want the best for you but i also feel like you have people that may be kind of like users just kind of using you because they know they can depend on you they you know oh well aquarius will do this aquarius will do that oh they'll lend me the money they'll do this for me they'll do that blah 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 you know, and no, it's time to take your energy back and replenish yourself. That is for sure. Slow and steady. We have 12, which is three, which is growth expansion. So definitely whatever you're doing here, it's about not rushing, taking your time, not overlooking anything. So if you're trying to do something, don't rush. Don't overlook anything. Um, make sure you know all the details. Make sure you have everything in place properly. So don't rush ahead because you may uh, miss or forget something. It's kind of, you know, a slow and steady wins the race. There's no rush. 
Three is about growth and expansion. 29, which is 11, which is a life path, soul path number. So we have coming to life. So that is feeling finally like everything you've been manifesting or whatever been going on in your life where you may have been feeling negative or feeling like the energy is negative around me and I can't get out of it. Slow and steady, slowly, this is all changing. And soon you're going to feel that fire, that passion, that spark. Things are finally working out for you, moving in the right direction. You feel like your life is finally um, coming to life, as the card says, which is good energy. So 11, feeling like life is as it should be for you. Life path, soul path number here. Finally being able to do what you want to do, what you've been dreaming of doing, your goals, dreams, amb ambitions, whatever that may be for you. Feeling really happy and content and just everything going good. And I feel like it's been um, it's been a long time coming, I feel, for your life to finally be in a good place. And it's coming here. So I have Magical Map Shifter, 52, which is 7, Divinely Guided Energy here. So this Magical Map Shifter can take the energies around them, being aware of the energies around them. And shifting them to, sorry if you hear my stomach rolling, <laughs> shifting them to their own benefit here to manifest what they want here. So spirit, you know, pay attention to your intuition, your connection to spirit, uh, the time, the energies right around you in all forms, whatever that may be, and using that to your advantage to shift your life. And I feel like that's happening here. Finally, the shift, I feel like the shift is coming and it's happening. So we have five of wands. Occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. So you could be, again, this, maybe some of you could be afraid of conflict by, you know, maybe shifting the energy of this. I'm feeling like overextending energy could be you know conflict around you maybe not wanting conflict so just giving in and being kind and say you know i'm just gonna give in be kind do whatever because i don't want the conflict but it's time here i think to maybe a little conflict is needed or if you have any conflict going on around you i feel like that could be coming to an end as well oh my god and the five of swords your current path isn't leading you toward the happiest possible outcome so why not change it Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to the hidden agendas of others. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel. Five and five is ten. Endings and new beginnings. Six of spring. So there you go. Success and victory. You may receive a promotion, be chosen for a scholarship, or find that you're singled out for special recognition. You've done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. So success, victory, getting, you know, recognized, accomplishment. And I see moving away from all this energy, strife, conflict, sabotage, feeling defeated, coming to an end, new beginning. And I kind of almost see the Ace of Wands here, success, victory, definitely moving away from that. So definitely if you've been um, vying for some sort of job, promotion, I do see success and victory here. So definitely using the energies to your advantage. And this could be the coming to life as well. It could be something you've been... Uh, trying to get for a very long time as well that could be coming in for you definitely a, a release of all this energy and moving away from that and being successful oh, wow all right accomplished and recognized all right so let's see what the tarot wants to say so i'm just going to pull a little spread here with the tarot it could be clarification of all this energy it could be new messages coming in see what the tarot has to say for you for Aquarius and then I have another uh, Oracle deck here so we will get you more advice and guidance messages at the end as well so what else do we have here okay for Aquarius let's get one more and we'll take that one so we have here oh the ten of Pentacles death and there's the five of wands coming out again which is right here so if you're in competition for something um, that is soon going to be over here with the death card and there'll be transformation transition into something you've been competing for or in competition for whatever that is for you it could be like I said a job promotion whatever this is and then you have the ten of pentacles which is sitting pretty you're going to be sitting pretty wealth abundance prosperity growth expansion 
Sometimes it's marriage. But uh, maybe some of you may, may be in a very conflicting marriage as well or connection. And maybe that may be coming to an end. Maybe that's a control issue here as well. And you definitely could be shifting your life into a whole new direction. And again, replenishing yourself. And then we have success and victory here. So it could go either way. So take it how it resonates for you. But I do see ending in a new beginning, the transformation, then having all this wealth and abundance. So you're either what you've been competing for is finally over and you, you're sitting pretty. Or if you're ending a connection, a marriage or something, or maybe you're ending a job for a new job, definitely the transition is going to happen here with the death card. So I do see Scorpio, Ace of Swords. So this is definitely someone's message from Source. True clarity from Source. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment. A successful new beginning. Cutting out what is no longer serving you. Standing up, telling it what like it is with very honest, direct, clear cut communication. Wow. So there you go. So this is somebody's um, energy here. And we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. This is fate, destiny, divine timing. Things getting better, moving in the right direction. Making more money. So things are moving in the right direction here with this Wheel of Fortune. Things are only going to get better with the Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. So I do feel like um, a decision in your favor that you've been competing or here definitely with the ace of swords and, and there's your new beginning with the ace of swords all right king of swords so that could be you aquarius male or female doesn't matter high priestess treasure intuition higher knowing so this is um king of swords usually gemini for me so or that's just you it could be gemini Libra, aquarius Three of Swords. So, look, the three and the two is the Five of Swords, which we have right here. What's this Three of Swords about? Eight of Pentacles. So you're going to, working hard to get out of this heartache and pain, disappointment, whatever this was for you, whether it was these people around you, a job situation, a relationship or connection, you're going to build, grow, expand, putting in the work. Trusting your intuition and connection to Source, definitely here. This King of Swords could also be about going back to school, mentorship, leadership, um, advice, guidance. Could be legal matters, you know, lawyers, judges, that kind of thing. I wasn't really feeling that, but I mean, for some it could be, especially if you're divorcing or starting a new business maybe, and you need to sort out all the legal matters, so don't overlook that as well. But definitely your connection to source as well. Your intuition is telling you things are moving in the right direction. Finally, you're moving and shifting out of this energy. So trust that. You have that Ace of Swords here. We even have the Empress on the bottom of the deck, Libra Taurus. So believing in yourself and new beginnings, growth, expansion, self-love, birthing of new energy. Some of you could be a parent. And then we have the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So you could have, some could have been in a very um, not so good relationship or marriage. Could have been third parties. I mean, we did see this Three of Swords, but this is your own inner reflection here with the Hermit Virgo. Definitely could be on your own now, reflecting on your own truth, heart, mind, body, and soul, doing that inner journey work, and moving forward fearlessly here. Knight of Swords. So that's you, Aquarius. Moving forward fearlessly, doing whatever you need to do, and not letting anything hold you back and taking that leap of faith into your new beginnings here. The hero, which is the uh, her, um, fool, which is Aquarius as well. Four of Swords, so make sure you are replenishing in your healing, sleeping, taking care of yourself, rejuvenating. And then, you know, you can go out, celebrate, spend time with friends, family, those that have your best interest at heart as well. So there's that leap of faith. So throwing caution to the wind and just, you know, do that inner journey work. You know, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I mean, we have Aries, uh, Capricorn. Could have been, you know, sometimes the Empress can be someone who is in a relationship. Sometimes the Queen of Wands is a third party or a Pentacle. So you're definitely saving your stability, 
you know, retracting your energy from anything that is not serving you. And following your heart, your intuition, and your compassion, and leading you in the right direction here with the Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy. And then with the King of Pentacles. So definitely Virgo Energy. Definitely some of you could have been in a relationship that's over, and you're definitely moving in the new direction. And I'm just feeling like your whole life is shifting now. Everything is finally going finally to fall into place for you. You know, it's going to take work, or you've been working on this, but it's happening. Um, okay, so let's see. I mean, some of you, the Empress, they are. For Empress, doesn't matter. It could be starting your own business, endeavor, projects, um, entrepreneurship, practice, whatever that means for you. As with the Ace of Swords, is new beginnings. Ten of Pentacles is total wealth, abundance, prosperity for the long, long term. Now, um, as well, some of you could be getting a settlement. That could be it as well. Though I didn't really get justice here, but let's see what else comes out for you. Time to decide. Make a decision now so you can move forward. Balance work, rest, and play. It's important for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibilities. Sign from heaven. Your loved ones in spirit are waving hello and giving you reassurance that you'll be all right. Yeah, so if you have passed over loved ones, could be a mother uh, or someone who was like a mother type figure or matriarch or maybe an aunt or something like that, um, grandmother, they're definitely telling you things are going to move forward. The shift is happening. Just trust. You're making the right decisions. Keep moving forward. Put, keep putting in the work here and your successful new beginning is happening also maybe release control if you're trying to control outcomes situations maybe release a little bit of that control and kind of give it up to the universe and let it come in for you take time for yourself enjoy relaxation activities that nurture your soul replenish right there all right i mean usually when i see pink it's usually about new love um so maybe I'm feeling for some of you, you're not really interested in love right now, especially if you're just getting out of a situation. But I'm kind of feeling like here, um, it could be something with the new year. The Wheel of Fortune, the world, when I get that, kind of reminds me of like the beginning of the new year. Um, what number is the Wheel of Fortune? It's 10, which is 1, a new beginning. So 1, kind of begin, maybe going into the new year, you may actually, maybe through work, especially if you're starting something new revolving around work, you may find um, maybe new love next year. It's kind of what I'm feeling. If you're even if you're not looking, it may just happen. And we have laughter, uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter. So things are going to get lighter. Things are going to get better. The shift is happening, and happier times are coming. Is what I feel here, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. That's what I have for you. So I hope that helped or resonated. Again. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist are down there. You can check those out. Past readings, if you like to, they should be timeless. And also, if you'd like to check out the Twin Flame channel, that is below as well. So, wishing you the best, Aquarius, and I shall see you next time.